it's like a religion and overwhelming decision to check out these anime manga reviews trapped with the kitchen brought by supreme guru sit back relax and listen and join in on the discussion i ain't supreme guru for nothing i am anime you know you can't put the way i get away from the urge of talking manga and anime so pay close attention when i say that guru is in the here and now and here to stay what's up people it's the guru welcome to the channel keep it real raw and uncut today's topic you see the heading let's go all right this week's chapter of naruto i don't know man it, it left me a little bit it was a little bit confusing man i don't really know how i feel about this man um it seemed like on the parts where they sort of slowed down they rushed it and the parts which should have been rushed they slowed down on like we could have left that whole battlefield scene man um all we got to see was Maduro wipe the guys out and stuff like that, man. So, uh, and, uh, Chubby, I don't know, he got hyped up on steroids, you know what I'm saying? He up there, he up there praying and stuff, so I don't even know what it's all that about, man. But, um, he was walking around on, uh, two legs like a human, like a humanoid and everything. So, I guess he's getting more and more development, but, um, Naruto get his ass whipped. We saw a load of tornadoes and stuff, man, and, uh, Naruto hurt his arm again, so I don't know what's up with that, I guess his chopper ran out or whatever because he's been to heal herself so then soccer and stuff on the scene she heals him on up and everything so that was cool but we all see the other little fodder ninja exhausted the uh the, the, the little chubby cloaks are gone now so uh hey it look, it look, it look kind of rough for these guys man so you know we already know it's foreshadowing the whole kage is gonna come in and save the day even if it is the uh, the present day hokages or uh the what uh, the red on tennis say Hage, uh, Hokages. Either way, we know they coming into the uh coming into the fray, but uh the the meat the meat of this the uh we was ready to see this fight between Obito and Kakashi. We were ready to see them put the dick beaters up, man, and do their thing, man, but I don't know, man. It wasn't it left me off the field, man. The fight was quick. I know it ain't over yet, man, but uh we found out while Ren why he killed Ren? Um, I, I suggested a long time ago. I ain't trying like I was I'm Mr. Mr. Know It All, man. But I predicted a long time ago. But I should have did a video on it, which I didn't. So stupid me. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, you know she sacrificed herself to keep from becoming a Chubi and being used against the village, because we all know Kakashi was no cold-blooded murderer. So we all know it was a reason behind that. So it's solved, and we found out that um, my man Obito, man, he. He actually started turning to kind of like a real villain, man. Dude, dude went crazy. You know what I'm saying? Dude is crazy. Like, yo, he uh, he gets hit by uh, a man Kakashi. Boom. Chidori to the chest. Put a hole through him. Boom. Big hole you see right through him, man. I said, yo, man, I'm, I'm hollow inside, man. It's like, it's like when Ren died, man, everything died with him, man. Like all his feelings and emotions. So he's just kind of like, this world is fake to him. You know, it's like the, the real world is is just i guess you want to call it like a like i guess like a, a bad movie you know and i guess through the the, the moves i play and everything he's gonna try to become the director of this movie man and conduct everything himself be the producer and change things the way he see fit you know uh he wants to become the uh the author of this new world you know so he wants to rewrite everything um so i don't know he he went ahead and admitted that uh that old girl was uh, in love with Kakashi and everything, and like, uh, I guess that was his heart. You know, he could accept the fact that she was in love with another man or whatever, but he couldn't accept the fact that there's a world without her. So, to him, that Ren is actually was the fake Ren, because the real Ren's gonna be the one he's gonna create in his afterlife. So he's kind of like borderline on, I guess, psychotic. I guess kind of. So I hope they go in on this the way he is. I hope they really, really take it this down this road man i don't want to hear no no bs uh i don't know man kakashi gotta step his game up man i mean the way he got obito character going right now it could get a lot better he could kind of undo some of the damage he has done to this character a little bit i ain't saying it's gonna rewrite everybody's opinion of him but he can switch it up just a little bit if he keeps on going down this road i can see that man like yo this guy's like and the symbolism about that hole in his heart like he was it was like it was like kind of poetic, man. The symbolism, man. Like, yo, I'm just there's nothing inside, man. Um, there's a song by uh, what's the guy's name? 
think it's Smashing Pumpkins called Zero. Check it out, man. Listen to Zero and then look at this chapter, man. It makes it makes so much. That song makes perfect sense to this chapter. You know what I'm saying? That's if you give a damn. But hey, but check it out. Actually, listen to the lyrics of that song and then like kind of equate it to what you, what Obi told just said. It makes a lot of sense, man. It kind of I ain't gonna say it's justification, but you can kind of see the path and everything. And like I said, I hope Kishimoto goes down this road with this character, and I hope he doesn't get talked about anything because. I rather really see Obito die a villain to see him die a, a, a character trying to redeem himself at the end because so many times in Shonen, we always we get tired of the hero, the, the villain always trying to repent at the end of um the end of everything. I want a villain to be a a, a villain from the end, from beginning to the end. I like my character if he's evil, let him be evil, man. All this redemption all the time is always a good thing. You know, it's not a bad thing, but it ain't always a good thing. It's, it's done too much in Shonen. Like, I'm going to lament. I'm going to repent for my sins all of a sudden because I'm dying. I'm like, the only reason you're repenting because you lost. You know what I'm saying? And I hate to see Shonen characters go there. But anyway, I'm rambling right now. But uh, like I said, I'm about to score this chapter. Uh, out of uh, five, I have to give it a... I give it a 2.5 to maybe a three. Uh, it was just an okay chapter. Like I said, it was good to see that we finally realized... What happened between Ren and Kakashi? I wish they would have had a more of a battle. Uh, that whole that whole hole in the chest thing, I love that. That was, that was nice. That was nice. I really liked the symbolism in that. So, to me, that little part, that little conversation they had revealed a lot. So, like I said, I give it a 2.5 to 3. You know, it was, it was an alright chapter. Could have been better. Should have been better. Hey, it is what it is. Uh, as long as we got away from that battlefield with Naruto and them, that's cool. But uh, this guru, I see y'all boys in the comment section. I let your boy. Peace.